The story's all about me, the stories is about my legacy and how I did it. Never quit it, got my team behind me. What's up guys, this is your boy That Black Oni coming at you guys with something really, really dear to my heart. And I remember I was talking to my brother about this recently. Yes, that, that Black Oni does have a brother. You guys will see him in later videos. But what I want to actually talk about is something that was very dear to me and still dear to me now that is going to be coming out this year and that's Shenmue 3. So let's take a trip down memory lane real quick. Um, I'm also gonna do something a little bit different where I actually have videos playing as I'm talking about this stuff in the background. All right, so let's get started. The year was 1999 when the first installment of Shenmue came out. Shenmue 1, awesome game. You, you know, figuring out that your father's just been killed and you're going on a path of revenge to get the man back who not only beat you, but also stole something that was actually very important to your family and which was the Phoenix Mirror. I think it was the Phoenix Mirror and the Dragon Mirror. And you have to end up getting the medallions back. Or mirrors, I should have said mirrors. I shouldn't say medallions, mirrors. <clears throat> no disrespect towards hardcore fans out there. I've always been a fan of this game since it first came out. But let's jump forward to Shimu 2. 2001, pretty much. Three, well, two years later. After 1999, 2000, and 2001, Shimu 2 drops. Once again, you're still on the path of revenge, but you've made friends on the way, and you're pretty much becoming a better fighter. Then, next thing you know, after you get done with Shinmu 2, there's nothing for quite some, quite a, a long time until a cell phone game that doesn't come out in America, but does come out over uh, overseas to Japan to help relaunch the game so Shinmu 3 can be actually a thing. It's Shinmu City. Now, like I said, I've seen gameplay. As you see, I'm not in the game play but photos have you just like you guys see right now of this game i couldn't find any actual gameplay of this only thing i could see was certain screenshots of this game this game isn't bad there's nothing wrong with this game the game was set up quite fairly uh it seems like a, a like build your type stats up type game figure out where you know certain things happen in the game and stuff like that that's what it seems like i'm not 100 sure i can't read the japanese or anything like that so i'm pretty much left in the dark if you guys could help me out with that i truly appreciate it so i can change what i've just said and later on videos after shinmu 3 drops so this happens in 2010 and then we get announced five years after Shinmu City that Shinmu 3 it will be uh will be coming out soon after Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter went great. They made over the amount they were supposed to the, the goal they had. Now we're in the development of Shinmu 3. This is the year Shinmu 3 comes out, guys. And I'm really hyped for Shinmu 3. I can't wait for it to come out. But at the same time, I have my worries. Not doubts, but worries. I believe there's going to be a great game, no matter what, but I do have my worries on this game. Since the fact that Shinmu is really not part of Sega anymore, and a part of PlayStation's line with PC as well, what does that mean for the game? Will it have, because it's kind of on two different, you know, gaming platforms will one have i guess the first games that came out on pc or early games that came out on pc or you know when we get it on the ps4 will it have early games development like spiral the red dragon when you do arcade mode like i really want to see this because one thing that i was really hyped about with the first two games was it had old school arcade games that were sega and one of my things with this one is since it's Part of the PS4 or coming out on PS4, will it have the same nostalgia that the first two had, but with their games? And like, I mean, like the early games, like I'm really looking forward to seeing like Spyro, Tumba, Tiny Tank, you know, Parasite Eve, if they can throw that in there. Like these mini games or maybe the arcade edition of these mini games in there. Like that's something that I really do want to see. I don't want to see something like made out of Flash that they threw in there themselves I really want to see these mini games ported over 
into this large mass system that they have. Like my thing is these systems now are way more massive, hold way more space than the systems of the past. And I'm talking about Dreamcast and I'm talking about Xbox because that's what Shenmue was on. There's no excuse of the reason why you couldn't put in the amount of games that you could put into a system now. Like I said, these games are on Blu-rays now. Like they hold way more space than the disc could ever hold. And those were CD discs. And I could go back, buy music. What type, am I going, am I going to be able to buy music? Am I going to be able to buy special um, martial art moves like I wore in the recent one? Will I be doing training like I was training in the original one to build my stats up? What am I going to be able to do in this game? Like, that's my main thing. I know that it's a large world and I'll be doing a lot of action adventure. I know that I'll be fighting a lot of people. I know all of this, but my thing is I still feel left in the dark when it comes to the gameplay. I haven't seen any gameplay uh, release yet. I've seen a little, but not a lot. I can't even say I've seen a little. I, I've, I haven't really seen anything besides the trailers that were for E3 and then the little update they had for 2017 of the game. Honestly, me being the fan I am, I would not even care if it was had the graphics it has now. It could have the uh, graphics it had when it was on Dreamcast. And I would be satisfied, honestly. I really would be satisfied with the graphics that came out on the Dreamcast onto this get, get onto this game. Because the only thing I'm concerned about is the story. I want to see the story unfold. I'm okay with a Shinmu fight engine from Dreamcast. I'm okay with any all of that. I just want to see how this story turns out. And I want to relive the nostalgia of those two games in this game. That's pretty much it. And I hope this wraps up everything for my rant. But I really want to do this because I'm a huge fan of Shinmu. I always have been a huge fan. Like I said, since... The late 90s to 2000s, I've always been a huge fan of Shinmu. I've always uh, gotten, I've gotten Shinmu one probably three times. Disappeared one time, bought it again, sold it, bought it again. Huge fan of Shinmu. And I just wanted to continue with the uh, Shinmu franchise. And I just want to see it finally end. Like I said, so many of my friends that are no longer here. And we always used to talk about like Shinmu being a great game and stuff like that. So when this game drops, I'm going to dedicate it to all my friends who are no longer here. And that's one of the main things that this game should be awesome because I don't want to dedicate a shitty game to, you know, friends that are no longer here. And that's pretty much it for this discussion <laughs> or rant, I should say. So you guys have an awesome day, an awesome weekend. And I will see you guys next week with uh, a whole different thing besides podcasts. The reason I had to do that was basically because I'm still working on other videos and I need the time. So I put up these podcasts. I hope you guys enjoy it. Much love to you, my only family. Y'all take it easy. And your boy is out in three, two, uh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mankind found a way to travel across the water. Stop. This bitch on my mind. Mankind found a way to build a skyscraper. Stop. Oh, I never heard of that. Mankind found a way to build an elevator. Stop. This bitch on my mind. gonna find a way to go interstellar. Stop. This bitch on my mind. Progress moving forward. People out here paying for it. Mankind set a goal. People always work towards it. Mind. Every day we hitting the rock. Busting our asses trying to oh, see what pop. The power to create and or destroy.